morning. We are today with Dr. Tamara Jorquiera at the University of San Martín de Porres, USMP School of Medicine, to talk about a special program to improve the quality of uh, academic quality and promote academic excellence at the university. This time through clinical research. Is that the program? Yes. Uh, this is a, a course that we have in agreement with the Faculty of Medicine, the Continuing Medical Education of the Harvard School. Um, we are having this course in Lima for the second year. It's called Principles and Practice of Clinical Research. So we, are the, the, we have a second promotion right, oh, that, in Lima. Oh, that's great. So that means that doctors not only take care of patients, but they also do research. Is that to, for finding new diseases, new treatments, what kind of things? Uh, well, this is designed to uh, find new treatments. It could be a new drug, or it could be a new procedure, a new surgical uh, technique. Uh, but it needs to be found better than what is currently being used. So there are certain standards you have to, to use, certain protocols and designs. And that's all that, uh, that we learn in the course. Well, it's kind of surprising that a, a Peruvian university is working with Har Harvard is a top college in the world and Latin American universities are not precisely known for the academic quality and so is this a, a breakthrough of what's happening with research here at the university? Yes, it's, it's a great opportunity. Uh, actually, we had a, a alumni from USMP that went to work as a research fellow in Harvard, and he was so good that the Harvard School and Dr. Freddy, that is the director of the course, uh, allowed us to be part of this in an agreement. So we have five-year agreement that we can sign again after that for continuing this course in so Lima. Okay. And the, and research is really important. It's not as good in Latin America as it is in the U.S. United States. So that's why this course is so important. Well, and decision. I understand that you and some of the professors here at USMP have been chosen to take an additional course to, to help the, the professors in Harvard. Yes, uh, we took the course as uh, students last year, but now we were chosen as TAs, that's teaching assistants for the course. So uh, one to four of us uh, that were alumni of USMP and are were alumni of the PPCR, that's Principles and Practice of Clinical Research, are now TAs. Uh, and we are also going to travel to Boston this oh, really? July, in uh, just a couple of weeks, to the optional workshops. So there are two optional workshops in July and one optional workshop in October. And we're going oh, that, to that. That's congratulations. Tell me something. Is this just for USMP graduates, or is it is the course open to, to other other people in Peru or in Latin America? Well, the course opens to everyone. You have to be a professional, professional in health sciences, uh, but you don't have to be a USMP alumni. Uh, everyone can participate. Last year, for example, we had two biologists. We don't have biology in, in our school. Uh, one chemical pharmaceutical, uh, then... So, so it's really open. That's really good, good news for all of us in Peru, that, that now we have a university that's working at the top level in the world, in association with a top level school, and that uh, that's um, yes. a bright future for our medicine yes, education. Yes, and it's very important to, to note that the teachers of this course are all Harvard teachers, it's like almost 30 Harvard teachers from the Harvard Medical School and Harvard School of Public Health and the, the diploma of the end is given by Harvard School. So our class, our classroom turns into a Harvard classroom for nine months of okay. oh, that, it. That's great and uh, do you offer a degree possibility? Are these people who finish the course maybe take that as a first step towards a master's or a PhD here? Yes, we're, we're currently working on that and we're going to give a master's degree uh, after the PPCR. Oh, that's so good. that's the first part and then you have to give a, a thesis and that's it, you'll get a master's degree in clinical research. Great, thank you very much.